Hello everyone. I I am uh, Atiku Rahman, NAW Certified Solutions Architect. So uh, today I am going to discuss you uh, an important uh, topic, which is VPC in AWS. So if you are trying to, <coughs> if you are planning to uh, participate on AWS certification exams, then VPC is a very uh, important topic for your. Uh, exams so it's uh, it, there will be definitely some questions related to VPC and if you uh, are not quite familiar with VPC you will probably not going to answer those questions so uh, today I'm going to show you what things you need to know in VPC and uh, how you can create a new VPC <coughs> in your AWS infrastructure so let's get started so uh, if you are a in the uh, AWS then you can just search VPC to go to the details then um, you will see list of things in the VPC so first of thing is uh, by default in your region there will be one VPC automatically created which is a default VPC so I am in Sydney and there is already you see there is a VPC created it's the default VPC that's uh, having and uh, default IP address range and all kinds of things so uh, apart from the default VPC you might need to have another VPC on your own so let's try to do this so I'm going to uh, create a new VPC um, mm -mm. I click on VPC I'm not going to use the launch VPC wizard rather than I will create the VPCs by myself so this is the default VPC so I name give it a name default VPC that comes with all region by default you don't have to do anything at all it's there and it has a IPv4 CIDR that is 172.31.0016 let's create a new VPC so I give a name VPC then I need to choose an uh, IP block uh, CIDR block so um, it should be uh, 10.0.0.0 oh. no IPv6 then I say default let's say I give uh, 16 so um, this is your IPv4 CIDR block and this is IPv6 tenancy default so let's uh, start the process so I have created a VPC so now I'm going to create some uh, subnets so let's uh, create a subnet here subnet A the VPC is Atix VPC availability zone I am going to choose an availability zone that is A so as I am giving a name so I am going to choose the same availability zone with A and IPv4 CIDR block that's uh, okay so I have to um, give it the uh, IPv4 CIDR block 10.0.0.0 slash 24 can create some more subnets as well subnet P that's I think VPC and IPv4 is um, 10 dot 0 dot 0 dot let's say um, let's say uh, 2 dot 1 slash 
uh, 10.0.2.1 oops I made a mistake here Let's copy from this. Let's do it one. Oops. Okay. So I have twenty four, so eight blocks. That means I can um, do it like two. One. Let's see if it's, it's eight. Okay. Let's do it twenty eight. Okay, uh, I, I found the correct uh, IPv4 CIDR block. So uh, there's a very good site like CIDR.xyz to simulate the CIDR block address range. So for example, um, the previously I tried with slash 24, which was uh, 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And it was a IP range of this start IP to this last IP. So this means that the subnet A is taking this range. So when I try to do subnet B, it needs to be uh, outside of this. So I can try something like uh, I tried with nine. So that's then you can see the range is different. So 10.0.9.1, 10.0.9.2.24. So it gives a separations here. So uh, that's okay. Then I can create. Mm, that's done. So if you want to learn something about the CIDR block range, then I would suggest you should go to CIDR.xyz to simulate this uh, process. It's important in the exam to understand that the this range, how it works, and how can you divide your uh, VPC range to multiple subnets. So that's if we have completed then we go to route stable and as you can see we have um, uh, two routes here the default route this is as you can see it's related to the default VPC and this is the route that automatically created when I create a new VPC it's this one so this my uh, relates to Atix VPC and give it a name to identify it clearly and uh, drag it up so this is the summary route table ID with owner and this related VPC as you can see at the VPC then there is a routes and uh, here you can see the 10.0.0.16 target local active that means it's automatically routed with all those uh, local connections to these uh, same destinations so you don't need to add any ed extra route to uh, communicate with those uh, internal servers that's auto automatically added that and subnet associations and uh, uh, we have already seen that two subnets has been associated with this route subnet A and subnet B so uh, route propagation and tags we can add some tags here that just I just did with name you can add some more text here as well so that's my route table then I need to go to internet gateways uh, to connect to the internet I need an internet gateway for my VPC so let's create one tick gateway okay so uh, this is my gateway now I need to attach it to my instance so I attach it to my VPC at I think VPC attach perfect so now my um, internet gateway is connected to my uh, VPC so uh, all the instances which was 
belonging to this uh, VPC now we'll get internet access so if I uh, what will happen if I detach this so by default the instances in my uh, VPC that I just created will have no internet access so you cannot connect to uh, any other outside world from your EC2 instance so that's very important that when you create those uh, VPCs you must create an internet gateway for your newly created VPC otherwise your instances will not be able to connect to that internet okay so as we said now we can see that this is our uh, newly VPC let's see if we can uh, now can create a new instance inside this so I'm going to launch a new instance and while I am launching this I will select that VPC in that process so let's try to do that I'm going to use Amazon Linux okay fine then I'm going to use T2 micro that's in free to year here the most important thing in the network you choose the network that's here the new VPC by default your default VPC will be selected so you need to manually select this that's important otherwise it will use the default one so let's select that default one then we have uh, the subnet subnet 2A 2P so we can just uh, choose any one auto assign public IP uh, enable I need to assign automatically public IP the placement group no uh, capacity reservation open I am role no shutdown behavior stop and that's it tenancy uh, shared okay let's continue further 8 gigs of disk space as keep everything we keep as default let's add text I'm going to add a tag tutorial VPC test that go to security groups I'm going to create a new security group here uh, HTTP and HTTPS perfect then I go to launch I will give it to create a new key pair that's VPC test download this key pair perfect launch instance my name is VPC test I copied the uh, IPv4 address that's fine then I go to my terminal I go to downloads I need to make the PM file perm executable um, search mode 0, 4, 0, 0, to PC test SSH minus I VPC test PC to user okay it's running so let's try let's try if it can connect to that instance Okay, after doing some uh, testing I found the issue why the, my instance was not connecting and it's a very important thing that I just uh, missed out during my uh, tutorial so while I have created the uh, route table so uh, 
here in the default route table as we can see we have uh, destinations of uh, local to uh, 172.31.0.0.16 and uh, there is a destination of uh, 0.0.0.0.0 to go to the IGW so that part I haven't uh, manually added to my uh, route tables so that was the issue so now we have edited that so uh, the destination of um, 0.0.0.0, .0, .0 should target to that IGW your the IGW that I have uh, linked with my gateway IGW is the internet gateway so that needs to be related to the gateway to access the internet so while I save I uh, save my route tables then I go to uh, my terminal and connect it to that internet to user and I give some I give the IP address okay so um, let's see what happens yeah now it's connected so uh, as you can see it's important that if, when you create the route tables you must set your uh, outgoing internet to pointing to uh, internet gateway now I'm going to test whether this instance can access internet so I am from outside can access to that instance using PM file now my test is whether this instance can access to outside world so let's try so it will try to update the patches yeah it can so as you can see it's downloading files from third, uh, internet and updating the patches for the Linux so that's uh, perfect which means that our instance is able to uh, correctly connect to that internet so let's update the patches perfect now I'm going to install Apache I'm going to install PHP as well let's create a PHP info file now I need to start my Apache service Okay, and let's try. And see if we can connect to PHP info. Perfect. So we can see that uh, our PHP version is 7.3.6. It's uh, a basic PHP with Apache server is up and running and we can uh, connect to the instance and the instance also connect to the outside internet so uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, starting uh, tutorial for uh, displaying your uh, how you can use uh, VPC to create your uh, custom VPC with custom subnets route tables and uh, internet gateways to summarize the tutorial I must say you have to create a VPC first which I have uh, created here I have created a new VPC and gave it name and I choose a uh, CIDR block then I created uh, two subnets subnet A subnet B then I go to route tables and there is a route automatically created and I had to add uh, the destination of o .o 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 to the target with IGW and uh, then 
in the last part I created the internet gateway and I have attached my VPC to that gateway so this is a process uh, I have described how to create a new VPC apart from default VPC it's a beginning you can there are some a lot of other things we can uh, do like we can stop accessing internet to that VPC sometimes it's required because if your server is like running on MySQL database server or Oracle or any kind of database server which uh, doesn't needs to be connected to that internet then you can just um, detach that VPC from the internet gateway so uh, in this process the internet uh, will be uh, instances will not be able to get in, in accessible outside the world so uh, this is a uh, more more of a complex examples I will show you in coming tutorials but I hope I, I can uh, easily now you can easily create VPCs by your own and you can from now on I assume that you can create new uh, instances using your own VPC so uh, that's a start and I I, uh, I would appreciate if you practice this in your own uh, test environment to get acquainted with this VPC is a very very important topic in exam so I would suggest everyone to put some uh, focus on this so thank you for watching my video and have a nice day thank you bye